morning traders welcome to privateer FX our Asian preview and uh, North American wrap well we had a lot of central bank meetings today it's been an extremely long day I keep this brief um, let's take a look at the uh, let's go right to the euro chart you can see the price action um, you know Draghi and the governing council stopped short of any fireworks uh, this being their last meeting of the year. It's really little new information. Uh, the market was bought it initially because he was sounding fairly upbeat on uh, some GDP revisions for next year. Uh, and then the market kind of uh, lost interest in on the long side. And uh, you can see here on the hourly, this was the ECB when it came out. Spiked up to uh, 112.63. We had this FIBO area at 112.60, or sorry, 118.68. That's a uh, that was a uh, that's a two-thirds FIBO going back up. Uh, failed just shy of there. Had a pretty big outside reversal hourly bar, and then we continued down, and we we did sell off down to uh, our support area. It came in around uh, right around 117.65.70 level was low. Excuse me, we rallied back up 182 the figure, and now we're, we're closing back down here with dollar caught a little bit of a bid. Uh, dollar yen price action. Uh, you can see we had a little bit of a sell off in New York here, and this was on some, once it went negative on the day, this yellow line. Uh, there was some uh, tax headlines about potential delays for any, any, uh, any tax reform. Uh, it did recover a little bit here and, and pretty much closed on the uh, that's the hourly let's take a look at the daily we closed a little bit lower on the on the day after our doji high the big down bar on Wednesday and then kind of an indecision middle of the range close uh, here today um, we also had the Bank of England today that was non-event we had the SNB complete non-event Norway the Norges Bank came out with rates unchanged, but there was a little bit of a hawkish tilt to that. And uh, you can take a look at the Euro Naki chart. This is the daily big outside reversal day lower, although we did close off the lows or some panic selling here early. They raised, uh, uh, they were definitely a, a bit more hawkish and uh, they brought forward uh, significantly from uh, the next rate hike to Q1 2019 from Q3 2019. So uh, that was definitely perceived as hawkish. Bank of Mexico hiked rates 25 basis points as expected. And the in the other EM space, the Central Bank of Turkey uh, raised its late liquidity window by 50 basis points, which, and a lot of people were expecting 75 or even 100 basis point hike to stem some of the recent Turkish lira weakness. Uh, dollar Turkey was up 2% today. Uh, as far as data, very quiet calendar tomorrow. Nothing really, uh, some some second tier CAD data and, and the U.S. production figures. Nothing really coming out in Europe. Um, you will hear from us um, on the European Open and then we will speak to you over the weekend. Uh, for the uh, the week ahead outlook. Good luck today, and we will uh, wish you the best of luck in trading.